30 years ago this Christmas Eve, the holiday season turned tragic. 16 people died in a fire at the high rise John Sevier Center in downtown Johnson City. The memories of those victims has not dimmed in the decades since that terrible night. Right now on WJHL.com, you can watch a full-length documentary about that disaster and its impact, which really was national. You will also hear from the people who witnessed the tragedy, including family members of some of the people who died. One of those interviewed in the documentary is Teresa Greer, the granddaughter of Juanita Ward, one of the 16 people who died that night. Teresa, thank you for being here with us. Thank you. For really having. appreciate it, and for everything you did as we worked for months on this documentary. Yes. Your grandmother sounded like a remarkable woman, Juanita Ward, who decided to stay home Christmas Eve. Yes, she did. You wanted her to come to be with you, didn't you? I did. But she knew what she wanted, and she did it, right? Exactly. She yeah. was the boss. <laughs> and that night, when she said, "I want to stay home," you never dreamed uh, that you would get. The call that you got right from right. from someone you knew who knew what was happening downtown. Take yes. me back to that night. Yes, sir. Um, my uncle was a policeman, and they had called him into work. So he called the family, my dad, and said, "You know something's going on down at the John Severe. You might want to come." Mm. So I was very close to my grandmother. I jumped in the car with my mom, and we went down there, and it it was horrible. Mm -hmm. You could see the smoke from. Tennessee Street. It was, it was dusk though, so it was getting dark. Mm -hmm. By the time I found a place to park, it was a solid sheet of ice, mm -hmm. and the s black smoke was so thick. But it, it was uh, difficult to walk on, and I just, I couldn't find her anywhere, and I thought maybe she's still in her room. Mm -hmm. So we asked the policemen and the firefighters to open the window and with the help of my family they did open the window and she was laying there on the floor I was right there with them mm -hmm. and she went to the hospital and that's that's where she died she one of did. the things that I learned in the process of this an event I remember but that was that a your grandmother was in a ground floor apartment yes and she, she was uh, uh, not in the upper floors as some were who died of smoke uh, smoke inhalation she was on the ground I floor know. she could have had she had a little bit more time but she didn't no just went literally a few steps away from a window right we found out in the years after this fire and then the investigation that went on that there were some real problems with the building did you all know that when she was there absolutely that, not no, no. it okay. seemed like a safe place and she was very happy there right? she wanted to live there when, and I just learned this recently, when her son got a job as a bellhop at the John Sevier, I think that was her connection with wanting to live there. When it was a glamorous hotel. When it hotel. was a glamorous hotel. Yeah. And in her mind, I guess she thought it still was. Yeah. But she was very happy. She was. Until that night. Yes. One of the things that struck me about you was the fact that you held no anger against. There were lawsuits, there were investigations, there were all those things and uh, fingers pointed. 30 years later, where are you with your dealing with that night? Well, I think about her every Christmas. My cousins and I, we all still get together and you know that's just something I think about when I get my decorations out mm -hmm. and because I kept the ornament from her tree mm -hmm. and, and it is it's heartbreaking but mm -hmm. you know life just took her by surprise. Right. And all these years later you hold on to that ornament. I know I that, do. that is in the It's the kinda rusty, but yeah. it means and a that's lot to all me. You got from that apartment because of the smoke, right? Yes. It, oh the smell was terrible. Yeah. Thank you for coming. You're Thank very you welcome. Thank you for having the courage to share your memories of that time. You and several others. Uh, tonight we honor Juanita Ward. Thank you so much. An amazing lady. I wish I'd gotten a chance to meet her. You can learn about her and watch the special documentary, Christmas Eve Fire at the John Sevier Center, 30 years later. It is live in its entirety right now on WJHL.com. Also, there are several in depth reports by digital journalist Jeff Keeling, in which he uncovered some new information about the investigation of the fire.
And you can also watch right here on News Channel 11 tomorrow at noon the documentary in its entirety, as well as on ABC Tri Cities on December 28th at 5 p.m. Brittany, how about the weather?